So what are the downsides of using laser? Basically, the main disadvantage is that the laser, being a fancy, expensive machine, isn't currently covered by anybody's insurance, so that it's an out-of-pocket expense. Is it worth it? Well, it depends. If it were covered, if it were free, I would definitely recommend it for most patients because it does have some safety advantages. Patients ask, is the laser worth spending the extra money? And it really depends. If it were covered, if it were free, the laser certainly has significant laser benefits. Because it's not covered, it's really a budget issue. If it's gonna be a significant financial burden, I don't wanna cause a burden to anyone, and I've done thousands of operations the old way without the laser. So the first decision is when to do the cataract surgery. That's up to the patient. The second is what type of anesthesia to use, also up to the patient. The third decision is whether or not we use the laser. That's a budget decision up to the patient. And the fourth decision is what type of implant lens are we going to use. So remember, the cataract is a cloudy lens, and the lens is supposed to help the camera focus. If we take the cataract cloudy lens out, we have to replace it with something. In the old days, they would use cataract glasses, which are those Coke bottle glasses you might remember from your grandparents' days. But these days, we put an implant lens back inside the eye to replace the cataract lens that we took out. There are essentially three types of lens implants to choose from. The first type that most patients will receive are monofocal implants, implants that are in focus at one distance, either distance or near or somewhere in between. The second type of implants are multifocal or bifocal implants that are important for patients who would like to have good refractive correction or good vision without glasses at distance as well as near. Finally, there are astigmatism implants both in monofocal and multifocal versions that help correct astigmatism. Astigmatism is when the patient has an oval or football-shaped glasses prescription rather than a baseball-shaped prescription. Most patients will have at least some astigmatism, but if you have a lot of astigmatism, it's worth getting that incorporated into your implant. It's sort of like shopping for shoes. When we measure your foot, we kind of know what size shoe to get you. But here, you might have a narrow or an extra wide shoe. And if you want to get an implant that's going to be right for the rest of your life, you want to get the one that fits best. Your surgeon will discuss and recommend these special types of implants to see if you're a good candidate for them.